All right, well, there we have it. We're back working again. It's good to have them both online. Uh, wasn't very difficult, um, but it actually uh, came out pretty nice. Um, I can't really tell the difference between the two monitors, so I don't think I've lost anything for the repair. Good luck if you try it yourself. Hey, if you got a LG 5K um, ultrafine monitor that has died, um, I might have the solution today. At least I'm going to try to fix it. Um, uh, these are typically used for the Mac Book Pros. Um, they're great monitors, 5K. Luckily, I have a second one that is working, so um, I um, have been able to test it and um, uh, show that, at least prove it, that it's not the cable, it's not the power supply, um, it's nothing like that. A um, couple things I did test it was with the cable, and I think this is probably what caused the damage. They come with these expensive... Um, uh, Mac cables. Um, this is the original one here. You'll see it with the lightning bolt on there. Um, these things get bent and damaged in time, and I think that blows the diodes on the USB ports. At least that's what I've kind of seen on the web. Um, I have bought some replacement cables on Amazon that are a whole lot cheaper. I could link it uh, to it. Um, uh, they're still rated for, I think, 100 watts for power um, as well as a USB-C. Um, they work just as good. Um, I'm using it on my MacBook Pro along with my other ultrafine monitor. But anyways, um, the way you can tell or you supposedly can tell is the USB ports or, and here's the USB ports, it's um, all part of what they call the motherboard, um, is that it doesn't power up. It looks like nothing's working. Um, there is a hidden power button inside the, the um, uh, monitor. Um, and this is how you can test to see if it still uh, will power up. And um, uh, basically, you have to un uh, take apart the monitor. Um, uh, the way that happens is there's these four screws right here. I've already got mine out here. Um, uh, that's that hold the monitor in the back. And then once that is done, it's just a matter of um, using some type of tool um, to get inside the side things here. You don't think it's the way to do it, but there's no other way. You just slide in and you pop it open here, and then that pulls off the back. Once you have the back off, um, uh, there you can have access to the power button. I don't know if you can see it. Um, let me try to turn it in here a little bit better. Um, there is a little tiny button right here, uh, which is, I guess, the power button. If you plug it back in, And then if you press the power button, I get to hold it for a couple seconds. But you'll see it'll come up and it will go through the different color modes. I've seen a lot on, on eBay that say, hey, it's it, it, it won't take a signal, um, but it does power up and go through this color mode. So at least you can see that the actual display is not damaged, I guess, is what this test shows. So, now what the dream, the hope is, the plan is. Um, also, this fan was pretty dirty. Um, I assume it still works. Um, uh, but the plan is to remove the motherboard. And um, uh, so let's get at it. Uh, the first thing we have to do is remove these um, cables. Um, got a, a, I hate these type of ribbon cables. I'm just not very good at it. Um, but basically... You gotta slide them out. Um, some of these have clamps. Um, but I think these are all just ones you have to slide, work your way out without damaging them. That's just Let these see. two on the top. I don't know if the ones underneath the speaker. Yeah, I think it does. All right. 
So, underneath the speaker, there's a whole row of screws that hold this bottom plate on. Good news, that did work. So my expensive monitor is back to life with a $350 upgrade. Um, the skill, I would say, took maybe a level 3 out of 10. Um, so it's certainly something if you're interested in doing it, I'd recommend it. Um, that's what the, it looks like now. Um, there's my previous monitor that was working, and they're both off the two sides of the MacBook. But anyways... Um, be careful buying used motherboards from eBay because this one, I can't see where it's blown, but it's definitely a bad motherboard. Good luck.